Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We're just going to dive on in and get started, you guys. This week, I'm really excited. We are using the Muse Tarot. Uh, I decided to get a new deck to celebrate uh, reaching the 15k subscriber milestone, which is a while ago. So thank you everyone for showing up and supporting me here on the channel. We're going to just dive straight on in and see what messages are coming through for you in love and relationship in the upcoming days and week for the sign of Aries. Do keep in mind, guys, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. If you find the messages do resonate, feel free to let me know by hitting the like button and or subscribing where you will receive notifications of when I release videos here on the channel, which is usually a weekly occurrence, okay? So what is it that our Aries need to know when it comes to their love life or when it comes to the current situation that they are finding themselves in in love please spirit angels and guides okay the first card out is the queen of inspiration so you may be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius in traditional tarot this is the queen of wands and you can see here um this queen has the sun lit up behind her so Aries, there may be someone here that finds you very attractive, that is drawn to you, okay? Um, I'm getting that this person is very attracted to you and is drawn to you, maybe even be feeling inspired by you this week. Let's see what else is coming through. Spirit Angels and Guides. Okay, this one wanted to come through. Ace of Inspiration. So this is the Ace of Wands in traditional tarot. I feel here that there is someone that wants to talk to you, Aries. Uh, there's someone here that wants to communicate, maybe send you a message. The Ace of Inspiration is someone feeling inspired to reach out and talk to you or send you a message just to check in, say hello. They feel inspired to do this okay they feel inspired to take action beautiful colors beautiful energy coming through i feel that there is huge attraction here by somebody okay so there is someone here that is hugely attracted to you uh, we've got the page of inspiration now. Wow, look at all this fire energy, you guys. So this is speaking to the page of wands. This person who is attracted to you, there's strong sexual attraction here as well, I do have to say. The page of wands is an energy of someone that may be younger than you, Aries. Uh, but this is someone who has a lot of energy, okay? This is someone who is very excited to 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 take action and um, start something here with you. It could be someone new. Uh, for those of you Aryans out there who are single, this may be someone new coming in um, that has a lot of energy. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of chemistry here. And the page of inspiration is telling me that this person is inspired to, yeah, reach out, send you a message, start some kind of conversation with you here and just sort of see where it goes. Okay, we've got, I think, three cards. We've got the four of materials which speaks to the four of pentacles in traditional tarot, okay? We have, oops, we have the five of materials and we have the page of voices. So clearly here with these two page energies that someone is thinking about, well, someone is strongly in their head in their thoughts of making contact with you. This is someone who wants to get to know you better. Okay, Aries, this is someone who 
has intentions to get to know you better. Um, they want to ask questions. This person with the page of voices may also be spying on you or watching you from a distance. Okay. And as a result, it's because you're constantly on this person's mind. The five of materials speaks to a needy energy. So this needy energy comes from a lack, a lack of maybe communication. Maybe right now you and someone here um, are not in communication. Maybe this person... Maybe you have shut this person out, Aries, and this person feels that. They feel they're not getting what they need from you or what they want from you here. This person may also feel like they're not good enough. I mean, you're coming through as the queen and they're coming through as page energy. So it could be that this person is feeling insecure. Um... And the four of materials is an energy of kind of like pulling into oneself. So you may be, if you know who I'm talking about, Aries, I feel like you may be just sort of pulling all of your energy into yourself and sort of focusing on things that are important to you. And this person is viewing that or seeing that as perhaps maybe closed off to them. Okay, so they're viewing it as you're shutting them out or you're closed off to them, which is making them feel insecure. As a result, this person is coming through as maybe very clingy or very needy, I get here. But they are in their thinking mind of maybe reaching out and sending you a message. So let's see what the Romance Angels Oracle cards have to say in regards to this person. The signs of the person that you could be dealing with here could be, yeah, like I said, strong fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, or strong air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see what other messages is coming forward. Okay, this one wants to come through. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So if this person feels insecure, it's because they feel like they can't provide you with maybe financial stability. Maybe this person hasn't got a job um, and, you know, you're sort of maybe high up in the professional world and therefore yeah i feel like when it comes to finances and career wise you're not on the same page which is possibly making this person feel insecure for example you might be um a leader of a company and this person may be someone who works underneath you or for you Okay, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So maybe this person lacks trust. Um, maybe they have trust issues. Yeah, there's, there's definitely something lacking within this person that is causing them to be on a different level to you. Okay, they've got the manifestation card coming through for their energy as well. So I do feel like this person is um, strongly trying to manifest you, Aries, um, even if it's just a conversation or even if it's just to, you know, acknowledge them in some way. But I do feel like they are trying to manifest maybe a chance to go out with them okay yeah they're coming through as a phoenix here i feel like this person is needing to go through 
some kind of experience. So I feel like if they just trust in the situation and just reach out or make contact with you, I feel like it's going to make, um, it's going to evoke or increase this person's confidence because the phoenix is rising from the ashes. This is feeling like this person may be feeling at their lowest of low right now because they're allowing their insecurities to get to them. But all this person needs to realize is they just need to have trust that what they want to do or what they're thinking of doing will actually probably turn out better than um, expected, right? Let's grab one more card. Yes, yeah, spider. I do feel like with the spider energy here that this is strongly in relation to work or career or their job. Maybe they're a student and you are a leader of a company, like I said here. Maybe they're a student and you're a teacher here and they're very attracted to you. Um, but I, I'm sensing here that the energies of you and this person are not on the same page because they are coming through with page energy. It could even be their confidence, right? Maybe this person lacks confidence, but because you're coming through as a queen of inspiration, you are confident. So it's like the energies of you two are not on the same page. The spider would indicate to me that this person needs to go to work on themselves, needs to go through some kind of transformation here. Um, yeah, and just like rise, like, you know, the, the message, rise, sister, rise. It's just about, okay, now it's time to level up. Now it's time to step up. What are you going to do about it? The spider sort of doesn't sort of hang back and just do nothing. The spider gets to work, okay? Okay. Um, the, the spider creates his destiny. So there we have it, Aries. That is your message this week. I hope you enjoyed the messages. Don't forget to let me know by hitting the like button. Um, feel free to explore the other reads that I've linked in here as well. Until next time, Aries, take care.